everybody. Now, I know it's been a very long time. Um, usually, when you see videos coming online, it's more about last year and a month before that or a month during the beginning of the year. Now, I don't know if you guys are still quarantined or anything, but I don't think we are because there are stuff... Like, we're still sort of at home. There's not really a lot of stuff opened yet. Um, but, you know, just wherever you are in the world, hanging in there. Um, we're all in this together. Um, you know, so there's autism talks. Now, I've got an autism talks I haven't actually uploaded yet. So, if the up if the one that I uploaded is on YouTube, um, you should go check it out. Um, you know, so we are going to talk about something that, you know... Um, that makes us not want to do something. Now, life is going to throw you like challenges and a lot of stuff and problems and difficulties for life. But the one thing that it's more of a dislike thing. You know how people don't like doing something, but they have to do it in order to get something. So for me, um, this is going to be tough to explain. It's, I think to talk to you guys about this. I said something about my father, and I would my word would be um, c um, complicated because he gets complicated. But I can't say too much about it. But let's just say the one thing like I like I'm a very friendly, forgiving person, and I'm very kind to everyone. But when it comes to your um, when it comes to your um, father or mother or whoever you're with it's especially if they um are not together anymore and they're kind of separate and um you know it's hard you know because um you know because you're you're you you have one that contributes everything to your life that's like my mom like she's contributed to us to everything she's always put us first she loved us she gave us a home she gave us like everything and my father who i don't really see that often hasn't given us, I guess, the love or the empathy that we deserve. And there have been stories, which I won't tell you guys because it's none of your business, but I've heard, heard, I guess, things about that. And, um, you know, in order to get something, which in the case I'm 18 now, usually like when you're 18, it's more about difficulty it's got to do with the government so i'm just going to say that you know usually when you're 18 you usually get a job and you usually move out home but because in this case uh we are um a little bit especially as autistic we need support from our parents now some parents don't want to support us i don't know it just could be the fact that they you know um have an out in with um you know the parent that's who's been raising you for your entire life and is telling you to like please please support your t children these are your children you know you you know you can't just you know um not support them because it doesn't work so when you have kids with a special needs and autism or anything you have to support them because it's you know just like for basic stuff like for me, I can pay for my own stuff, kind of-ish. But, you know, they kind of contribute to clothes and, you know, accessories and, you know, other stuff that you need. Like, I won't be in this room anymore, but I will be in that room over there. But it doesn't concern you guys. I'm just moving rooms. So I won't be in this room anymore. I'll have a much bigger space so I can do all my stuff. So that's pretty good. But, um... Yeah, so I'm trying to do this very delicately. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, it is hard in a situation where both your parents aren't together. Like, I understand that. Like, I get that a lot, you know. And, you know, you kind of you kind of think to yourself, you know, you do, like, I do have people who love me and support me, which is my family and my friends. Of course I have that. But when it comes to someone who you don't like, it's hard because... You know, in this case, for me, I have to, you know, put up with someone that I do not like. And it's really hard to do that. Because I am a kind and forgiving person, but I'm just like, you know, at that point, you're just like... Sorry, that's my phone. Oh, just ignore that. So, in this case, it's like, you know, like, like if you're doing, like, if you have an enemy at school or anything, just like, it's like that. It's like, ugh. 
I do not let that person, but I have to talk to her into, you know, doing something. But that's sort of different when it comes to friends and terms like that. But I'm talking about here, it's complicated if you don't understand money and it's complicated that you don't understand how everything works and stuff. Like, my mom's tried to explain to me, you know, um, you know, and I guess I wouldn't say it's all about money, but in this case, money is so supposed to help you and support you, you know, get through life. So I might, or you might one day want to get a car or get your license or, you know, go out to a special event or go to a nice place, you know, with that money that you have. And, um, you know, I guess that, you know, dealing with someone that you don't want to and getting that it is hard and it is complicated because in that respect if you're in a situation that um one parent doesn't want to support you but the other one does you kind of have to support them because they're your children you know they're your you have to support them like you know you just have to you know and um no it is hard and i understand because i'm in that situation kind of ish but like i said we don't hear from him too much and you know it's just you know you get you kind of get it's kind of reaching a goal see you know when you reach a goal into getting something you get it in return so it's kind of like that so if you hate talking to your father or mother or grandmother or anything it could be anyone in the world that you don't like talking to but you gotta remember you know i'm not a greedy person I'm not arrogant, I'm not selfish, but in this regards, like, I need that, you know, to support me and help me. So, I would say that, you know, you kind of need the support from both of your parents, even if they are together or not together, in a special understanding way with autism, it doesn't end until you're 18, that's just never going to happen. So, your parents will have to support you in any way they do, and sometimes parents don't support you. You know, it just depends where you come from. But my case is that I'm going to be supported by um, my mom and my father um, who, you know, want me, I guess, to support me. Well, my mom supports me and PJ anyway, so that's hers. But the problem is, you know, my... my you know when we're saying this person doesn't want to support us you know and it's very hard to um you know do that but i hope you understand where i'm coming from i'm hoping this will get to you in an easier sense because i know some of the subjects i do are kind of like you know grown up talking it's recommended by teenagers only so if you want to find out find out but you know, if you don't like what I'm talking about, you can skip to the next video. There's heaps of more videos. You don't have to watch this. If this scares you or if this is like, you know, you don't want to you don't want to see this, skip to another video. Just skip because sometimes the things I talk about are helpful and sometimes they aren't. So it just depends. But I'm not going too deep with this. I don't actually go too deep in this. I just try to be careful of what I say online because, um... You know, you've got to be careful of stranger danger out there. So I'm trying to be careful of what I say and not get people mad or hurt or what I say. So it's kind of like that. So, um, you know, so what did you think? Uh, let me know what you guys in the comments and more videos will be coming out very soon, you guys.